What happened? Am I still alive? I... I remember the Tree of Life. And the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? <sighs> hmm. Not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. <gasps> hey, where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? Don't worry, I'm not a bad slime. I promise. Oh dear, it looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. Slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans. <laughs> this kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, whatever. If you're as good a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddies anywhere? Who's that? Your friends? You mean other Gloomans? Nope. You're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right. Follow me. Huh? Uh, he's helping me escape? Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well... I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Guess I've got a new friend.
Let's do this. Sweeper hit! Who else wants some? <laughs> Another escape from an underground prison, huh? It takes me back to the good old days when we busted out of Heliodor Castle. I hope he's doing okay, wherever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this joint. Ugly monsters right up ahead! Yeah, I see them. I don't know if you heard, but apparently Lord Indignus has been smashing it. He most certainly has. He taught those what to the lesson, or so I heard. Attacked their village and sent it crashing to the ground. Watchers? Never heard of them. Any idea what they're talking about? Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Have you got potty? Just who 
are you anyway? I've never seen you down here before. You! But how did you manage to break out? to wait for now. Come on. Yay! Let's get going! For a fight would be suicide. Damn it, what do we do now? Come on, you can't just do giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? Not that she'd be in a position to think much of anything. <laughs> you don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. <laughs> What are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? <clears throat> anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go! <sighs> You're a slippery customer, all right. But don't worry, I'll get the truth out of you eventually.
Let's go. Else wants some. one of these thingamies. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Interesting. Don't worry. It's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems go in no slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? with us. Can you shake a tentacle and get that thing moving? I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't do any faster. Please just hold them off for a little while, will you? Ha! <laughs> 
and stay down! Me? Think again. little guy. Haha! <laughs> I told you I'm a good slime, really. But things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay. Hmm... This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall we? <laughs>
Wait, what? We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look! Over there! There's a path going up to the top! <laughs> what now? Kneel before Indignus, mortal. Spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master. But I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far. Quite a feat for a mere human. But you will go no farther! <laughs> Seize him! We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large! The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! Let's do this! some way out there is one way huh huh elijah is that you where are you it is me 
but also not me. You have known me for longer than you think. One day, you shall meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. So tell me, what might that be? Of course, your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms. Precious treasures indeed, but I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. <laughs> he has accepted his fate at last. Seize him! Oh, I'm not done. Not by a long shot! There is fight in him yet. Very well. I shall finish the job myself. <sighs> Foolish human. Let's do this. Catch me if you can! Said, I'm not done. Excellent, Kerr. 
I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. <sighs> <sighs> You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. Remember, where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. What a blooming palaver. Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Huh? Crikey, that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? I... I don't know. I don't even know who I am. All I know is... I was on a journey with... someone. But who? Suit yourself. Am I? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Ah! <laughs> Jings! Uh, is that? No, it can't be. It's her, fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life. I have not the first clue what's going on around these parts, but I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Uh, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? 
just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <sighs> this can he be. But, but it is. It's Dundrasil. Just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, your majesty. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my, my old robes. But, but how? What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. Trust you were well, father. Eleanor, Erwin, it, it really is you, and and you're young again. 
What's going on? Uh, Your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the Princess's Honor Guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, uh, <laughs> I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Oh. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter? Not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband. I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, Father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Crevens, where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet.
Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. Oh, already? <sighs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy? Look, Erwin. Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs! We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. Hi. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and yes. <laughs> but I've rather set my heart on something else, you know? What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... <laughs> oh, Father. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> what, what the? Having fun? Ah, oh, how are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real.
What's all this then? <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! Get away! It's... it's you! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect the thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patisias working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh, you... you... you shouldn't have. Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundersil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, yeah, hear! Yeah. And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin, too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection of... <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? My people. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just perfect.
much fun. So Dunbrasil has they been destroyed, and Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with the boy. Whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it can't be real. This is for Grandpa. This is nice. I could stay here forever. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. There, wee man. There's no need for that. <sighs> That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I awoke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means... All this must be... What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I've somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. Well, what? You mean, you're leaving? Aye, that's right. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. give you what you want, Your Majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because of more important things to be doing. There's a world needs saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up. I'm going soft in the head. I need to be with Grand Master Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. Hmm. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? Master Pang, you can't be serious. It was you all along. 
Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the Void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? Indeed it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes! Passed with flying colors! So you'll train me, eh? You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful of your training. That you have been diligent in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. What? Not the naughty stick! And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see! Oh, Crivens! I'll not get out of this without a bruise or two! But, if that's what it takes, then so be it! Do your worst! Yeah. Let us begin. Take him! You must use every tool at your disposal. Or else. Let the darkness consume oh. it! Ha. Ha. Surrender your soul! Oh. Do you believe you have what it takes to defeat me? to resist. I've 
held back until now. But no longer come one. Come on! Perhaps you have not been as lazy as I feared. But you are still not ready. Wait, I... Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. You're serious? You mean it's time? It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But were you to undergo the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated, and the work of years condensed into mere days. But it will not be easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see what lies beyond? You had better be. You bet I am! I have the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. Uh, by the way, the whole bunny girl thing... You were more than a mighty convincing Grandmaster, I have to say. You could have sworn you'd sworn in straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Ogler's Digest. more to me than meets the eye, you know. I, too, was young once upon a time. <gasps> Hang on a minute. What do you mean by that, exactly? Do not question your master! You have training to be doing! We will make it easy to begin with. 10,000 press-ups. On your knuckles. T -t Ten thousand! Oh, yeah! His friends still live. His friends still fight. Their cause is not forlorn. The night is dark and dreadful, but we may yet see the dawn.
Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering, and pain, the Luminary's light can shine upon this land again. was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now! It's an unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina!
You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Your Majesty! Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. There you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish. You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. To see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. An eons passed since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. 
Behold the pearl of wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world. The once fair land of Airdria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes, lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked, and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery and tears. I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. <sighs> Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. 
Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to Earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. Elizarin, <sighs> the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive.
bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. <laughs> While the luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. <gasps> Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! The Lord of Shadows followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Citizens of Lord Epa, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. John sucked himself a biggin. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out. <laughs> yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. <sighs> Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. <laughs> who, who, who the heck are you? And uh, what are you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. <laughs> hey, now. Don't cry, Sonny. <laughs> Look. I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen. Blue John's gonna help you out. 
We fisher folk have got to look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you're gonna head over to the last bastion. They'll see you right. The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. <sighs> Hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John would say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed? Why, we've seen nothing but dark skies since the day of the disaster. Just look at the state of it. There was an almighty booming and rumbling, and then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide, and fast. That was a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the Blackness. The Rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was, thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, seems the vittles round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good un, that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now, sonny. Thank you. 
Where did you run off to, might I ask? the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No, we've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He, he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. Oh. 
sorry, Sandy, you're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on, let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me.
Come on, girls, put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. Sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. <gasps> My little soldier! believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... sure you were... <laughs> when the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. He fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion, humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me, it's the one in the middle of the camp with the two flags. And be polite.
so. You are alive and well, I see. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone, to pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day, the events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive? Your Majesty, the hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come, you must meet he to whom we owe our survival, though you may not wish to at first. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever, but you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone, which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready.
Hey, you must be our newest recruit. They say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam. Well, I'm impressed, I've got to tell you. You can obviously handle yourself there, or you were born lucky. Well, either way, I'm sure we can find a use for you. Follow me. Right, here's your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. <laughs> oh, don't look so worried. You'll be fine. <laughs> Enemy forces! Here they come! Positions, men!
God. You will need to pull your weight if we are to escape this one. Have at them! Sentinels speak truly when speak of thee, Hendrik. Thou art without a shred of guile. Any other would have fled the field long ago. But I have no complaints. Our reward for tearing thee limb from limb shall be a handsome one indeed. <laughs> Retreat! Move your bones! <laughs> Commander, a message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Both of you. Right away.
It seems we owe you both a debt of gratitude. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time. Time to bring light back to this benighted land. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor Castle must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, must lead the charge. But... but sire... I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. This key will unlock the gate. But sire, who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered! We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out, leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. We strike now, or we never see the light of day again. Please, Your Majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely. Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. <coughs> or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order you to do likewise. <laughs> you are our last hope. Do not let us down.
Wait, love. Mr. Hendrick, sir. I couldn't have a quick word with my boy, could I? I won't be long, I promise. As long as it is quick. Oh. So you're heading off again, are you? Hmm. Well, just you be sure to listen to Sir Hendrick and do as you're told. And don't you dare go giving up, ever. Just look at me, eh? Something's wrong with my eyes now, too. Must be all this squinting in the dark. Well, only one remedy for that. You'll just have to bring back the light. Promise? Hmm. Hmm. Time is short. We must be on our way. You'll look after my boy, won't you, Sir Hendrick? Obsidian, see the lady back to safety. was never in doubt. Well, that ends well.
so. The assault begins. Move. This is no time for idling.
triumph was never in doubt. Even the great stairway lies in ruins. The usurper will be in the throne room, if he is anywhere. He must be found and punished, which means we must seek another way up. Come, Jasper, do your worst. If you insist. 
Curse you, Hendrik. Root strength wins the day again. <laughs> it is good to see two young men with such spirit. But I order you to cease your horseplay and greet our latest arrival. I present Princess Jade. Oh. Hmm. When you grow older, you will be the guardians of this great kingdom. I am counting on you. And now, so is she. <laughs> With my might and your wisdom, we will surely be the greatest knights this kingdom has ever seen. Long may we protect the princess and all her people. <sighs> Jasper, are you listening to me? What is this? Why, the shield of Heliodor, of course. Symbol of the kingdom's greatest knights. His majesty keeps it in his private chambers. If we are destined to become such men one day, one of us will surely wear it. I would very much like to see it, wouldn't you? <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? One cannot simply stroll into the king's chambers uninvited. Oh, I have my ways. I just so happen to spy a certain someone treating himself to a midnight feast in the kitchens. Huh? None other than his royal majesty. He slithered out of a secret passage behind a cupboard and set about the leftovers. That passage must lead to his chambers. <laughs> you devil! You've solved the mystery of his bulging belly. The queen will make you an earl for such a service to the kingdom. We meet in the kitchen at midnight, agreed? Agreed. Of course. The passage to the King's Chambers. But... what was that? A vision? A dream? So this is your power, Luminary? Y you are able to draw on the memories amassed within the World Tree? To pry into others' pasts. Very impressive. The kitchen is on the north side of the castle, beyond the banqueting hall. Come.
I did not make it here that night, you know. I was caught trying to slip out of my chambers. The king made me polish all the armor in the castle. Jasper was disgusted with me. We had a furious argument. We had so many in those days. But there was more happiness than strife. Life was simple. We had a purpose. We would have stood together in defense of Heliodor no matter what. I have treated you poorly. Forgive me. My loyalties have been tested, but not by you. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. Will you stand beside me? Hmm.
You have done well to make it here, old friend. And with the Darkspawn in tow, no less. Oh, bravo. Jasper. No. No. Temper, temper. Brute force may have won the day once upon a time, but things are very different now. Yeah! <sighs> Why? Why did you give yourself to the darkness? What of our pact? We swore fealty to Heliodor. We promised to protect the kingdom, together! Why? You, of all people, ask me why? <laughs> Does something amuse you, traitor? It is I who must ask you why, surely. <laughs> Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! <laughs> well, no more. I will be second best no longer. I know the truth now. Love, dreams, light, friendship, all these count for naught. All that matters is power. And the only power that matters is that of the darkness. There is one who sees the worth in me who deserves my fealty, who gives me the power I crave. And all who stand in his way must be destroyed! I lost my hometown, my family. My friends, all to the dark power that you serve. I lost my faith, my purpose. Though some called me hero, I believed I was a fraud and that I was powerless to protect them. But I can protect them. I must. And there is one I must protect above all others. It is the Luminary's duty to deliver the world from evil. And it is my duty to protect him. Jasper, you are a traitor to your kingdom, a servant of evil, and a threat to the servant of light. I sentence you to death. <laughs> really, old friend? Forgive me if I do not begin quaking just yet. Now let us end this farce.
<laughs> you will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. <laughs> Jasper.
Obsidian. Thank the heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must return to the last bastion and see what, if anything, remains.